So we got this stuff regarding Tyshawn Jones and Adidas Skateboarding present the Tyshawn Jones 2. I'm actually a really big fan of this shoe. Um, I think Adidas Skateboarding have been doing some pretty cool things recently. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I'm glad to see Tyshawn getting this really nice pair of shoes here. Um, the Tyshawn 2s, courtesy of Adidas Skateboarding. Let's actually look at a closer image of the, of the shoes. I actually prefer the white and black pair. They um that white and black type of colorway is really nice. The color blocking on the midsole. I've always been a fan of this actually. When it's a white upper, I'd have a completely black outsole. I like the contrast of it. It almost makes the white bit at the top almost look like it's floating. So I kind of look at it. I actually prefer the white colorway to the black one. I think the black one kind of looks a little bit too dare I say basic, even though it's a black and gum sole shoe, which I should always be a fan of. I quite like the makeup of the white pair. You've got a bit of black and white here. You've got some great underlays here under the tongue. You've also got a gum sole on them, so they look fucking nice. Um, really like the pair here. As you can see here, there's another colorway. There's another angle of the all black pair. The undersole, or the outsole, sorry, has... Um, I'm not sure if this is the same colorway for the Pan-African flag. The red, green, and thingy underneath there with the gum. Maybe that is. Or maybe that's just him just... Maybe it's Caribbean roots. I'm not too sure. I really like the, the look of that, actually. But the white pair for me is the best one. And you've also got this nice big... You know, they almost look like tennis shoes, isn't it? They almost look like tennis shoes, in a way. This particular style. Um, it kind of reminds me of the times when... Um, I forgot his fucking name. The skateboarder that always liked to wear like um, indoor soccer shoes or like Astro Turfs. It's like skateboarding shoes. I think it was Gino, right? Gino Iannucci. Iannucci. Um, he used to go out with Liam McSweeney, I think, back in the day as well, right? From Married to the Mob. But I remember he was the one that kind of popularized the trend of like wearing, and Jason Dill actually as well, of wearing like indoor soccer shoes. And indoor soccer shoes were always a really cool kind of like go between or really cool alternative to skateboarding shoes if you wanted more of a sleeker silhouette back in the day because everything was so chunky. Because obviously, indoor soccer shoes or badminton shoes or whatever they're me um they're very sticky they've got very sticky outsoles because you're usually playing on an indoor court with them so sticky outsoles are really good as well for skateboarding so obviously just to have you help your foot stabilize on the board itself so i really like the look of these he looks fucking brilliant um let's actually look at the blurb it's been five years since ada skateboarding teamed up with it's been five years since the type the first really five years oh god God damn it. Um, teed up with Tyshawn Jones to assemble the renowned skater's first signature shoe, the Adidas Tyshawn. Since then, the silhouette has been a staple, with it being remastered several times to date, including the introduction of the low top iteration of this model. Now, Jones is set to drop the sequel of his shoe with a forthcoming release of the two. Uh, building from his uh, predecessor DNA, the Tyshawn 2 sports a familiar shape with several significant adjustments of his construction. The upper sports a durability orientated dual layer toe cap and a perforated toe box that emphasizes the breathability while the midsole is backed by light strike technology to minimize weight and deliver an ample support. The three stripes return to each side of the midfoot while the trifoil logo has been placed on the tongue and the golden Tyshawn text rest just above the lateral stripes. As for the initial color arrangements, the crystal white pair features an ample contrast, courtesy of the black stripes, laces, and heel tab and midsoles. For those interested, the pairs are going to be available on June the 1st in crystal white colorway price. Are, wow, they're only $100. Pick up Tyshawn. I'm not sure if he was, if he was um, included in the pricing strategy of these, but pick up Tyshawn. They're only $100. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm going to get a pair of these for, to if i'm not going to skate in them definitely to cycle they only 100 dollars so it's gonna be 100 but that's fucking great bro big up tyshawn 100 dollars that's pretty cool yeah i'm definitely gonna try and get a pair of these i actually don't like the black pair but if they're 100 dollars just to support the guy i might actually try and get both i'm not gonna lie because that's fucking cool big up him for putting together these shoes or like you know helping to design these shoes and also having them being priced 100 dollars. this is fucking banging you love to see this, bro. Honestly, I'm so happy to see this. Big up fucking Tyshawn. Wow. I love this. Um, we've got another image of them. Here. Is that that's the one I just saw there, right? I think I just saw his already. Oh no, it's another image of second to none. He looks so cool. Push. He's he's another one that looks really cool pushing, to be fair. Tyshawn's definitely in that, in that lineage of skaters that just look good pushing, you know? Just him pushing looks fucking cool. And he goes so fast. You know, it's so scary how fast he goes. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, they are. It kind of look like, yeah, they are. They're kind of like a, a level or lower, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a shoe by, Go um, what's, his, what's his face again? What's his name again? Um, Gons. Aloha. These are really nice. The all white pairs. I really regret not being able to get a pair of these. Actually, yeah, they, they do like a, they do look the same as the white a lower, isn't it? This particular pair, and I think it was take. I'm, I think the inspiration of this shoe was taken from that gallery. There's a picture of Gon skating in the gallery. 
uh, where is it? And he's doing something and he's got a pair of those shoes on. He's wearing like an all white outfit. And I think he's skating them. He does like, I think he goes around in a circle. I'm sure if you guys know, if I've got any skateboarders who listen to my podcast, you know what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a picture of Mark Gonzalez skating somewhere in a gallery and he's wearing like an all white outfit. Let me see. Mark Gonzalez uh skateboarding art gallery yeah, skateboarding in art gallery and i think that's what the allure was based on it's him skateboarding and he's wearing a pair of white shoes so his particular shoe i think was based on that shoe he wore in the art gallery so either this one i'm not sure which one was the first one i'm not sure if the gum sole one i think it might be this clear i think these two are i think one of the first ones this particular one that has this clear outsole that's gone that's really fucking nice and also this particular one here so I think that's where it came from, this particular video of Mark Gazzano skating in a museum in Germany, actually. This video is already nine years old. Uh, for the first time it showed, Mark did a performance in a German museum in Mönchengladbach on December the 13th, 1998. Wow. Really ahead of his time, Mark Gonzalez. So you see a picture of here. It, there's an art gallery. You know what an art gallery looks like? White walls. Those are white people standing around. And Mark Gonzalez comes in wearing a white outfit, skating around it. This really cool outfit. And then he goes up a ramp, kind of. And comes down. This is back when people were fascinated with skateboarding in this way. Nowadays, it's not that big of a deal. But back in the day, skateboarding was a bit counterculture, was a bit like, ooh, establishment right and then this guy skating around I think it's a longboard as well for the same time yeah that might be an actual longboard too he's such a dream skating around this longboard he's going to the lower ring the back of his wing he's going up and down and down here and a pair of adidas is he's lying on it he looks really cool the outfit is fucking spectacular I'd actually wear that now he's got his fucking socks pulled up it's a very Jason Bill-esque kind of outfit socks pulled up It actually if he would do a really corny thing and like cover these wheels in paint and then just get around him. He's not one of those really just push it, right? So he's gonna like just push it and slide it around. He gets long boards and big boards and all that stuff and it looked really fun. When I first wanted to get I forgot what the top the, the actual board is like a bit just put on the tail. I think it was finished on board, right? He was one of my inspirations. Instead of getting a regular side of skate. But yeah, this is where that shoe came from. That inspiration was based on that particular video. Um, and obviously the Taishan has some similarities between it. But I don't, I don't mind it. It's just like an update on it. I don't really, I don't take it as a diss, to be honest. But I guess some people in skateboarding want always new things. Um, so yeah, so people are not the not the best of them. Not the most biggest fans of them. But I quite like them. Yeah, exactly. Someone says they're, they're very sambery. Um, again, just a cool type of shoe. Um, the quality doesn't look the greatest. I'm not going to lie. The leather doesn't look the greatest. But for a hundred bucks, you can't go too bad to get a pro model shoe. I don't. I, I can't. I can't remember the last skateboarding pro model that you'd get for a hundred dollars. Like, does that even exist? Usually, they charge way more for the pro model. So the fact that he's giving you a pro model shoe with his fucking name on the side, you know, being skater of the year and shit, and being an absolute boss. For a hundred bucks, you have to give the kid ratings, man. Give the kid ratings. That's fucking brilliant. Whoever decided to do that, you did a fucking great job. So big up Tyshawn. Tyshawn 2s look fucking cool. Um, I think there's actually a video of what's her name? There's actually an image of Tracy Ellis Ross wearing them, right? It's a really good pull. Tracy Ellis Ross. So big up Tyshawn for sending those those shoes to her. I think she's wearing the Tyshawn, Tyshawn Jones shoes. So that's pretty cool link up. So big up him for giving her a pair. Because I feel like that's way more of a cooler link up than giving some nonsense influence that we always see wearing them so big up um this paul big up this uh this is really good seating in my opinion this is really fucking good seating 
um, giving Tracy Ellis, Trace, Tracy Ellis Ross a pair and she obviously freaked him in a really cool way. This nice big boxy t-shirt tucked into some big boxy leather pants and the shoes there at the bottom look really fucking cool. So again, the proof that you can wear them and look nice in terms of a lifestyle way and obviously in also a normal way, a skateboarding way and she's obviously tagged it really cool. Um, caption here says, thanks Tyshawn for these really cute sneaks. Do you still think I'll be able to skate now? I want to jump over things like you. So amazing. Big up Tracy Ellis Ross. We fucking love to see it. Really cool. She freaked them really well. And I can't wait to get a pair myself when they never to be do drop. Big up Tyshawn Jones. Big up Blood Clark. Tyshawn Jones. <laughs>